Okay, so uh, we now move on to the hyperbolic setting. So in the uh, so we just talked about asymptotically flat initial data, where the metric approaches the uh, Euclidean metric. Uh, so now we talk about the hyperbolic setting instead, where the uh, metric approaches the uh, hyperbolic metric. And uh, of course, for recollection, let me simply um, uh, remind you that we have basically two main models for uh, hyperbolic space. Uh, one of them is the upper unit hyperboloid of uh, Minkowski space, where we think of the graph as the, of the function where the time coordinate is the square root of 1 plus r square. And it is not a difficult exercise to show that the metric is just the, um, uh, the following. And of course, we do uh, polar coordinates here in, in the base. Uh, and moreover, one can show that this is umbilic, meaning k equals uh, the second fundamental form is just equal to the metric uh, b. Uh, we could also do the anti space spacetime model, uh, where you uh, restrict uh, a t equals zero time slice, um, and that would be totally geodesic, and so k is uh, zero. Uh, so we in this talk will focus mainly on the hyperboloidal model. So this is the umbilic case. And uh, in particular, when we define our asymptotically hyperbolic initial data, we will uh, have that in mind. So here, um, this is uh, uh, a few parameters here, a few details. But uh, so again, we, we have a triple and we have, um, so L is an integer, alpha is some real number between zero and one here and tau is at least 10 and half and tau zero is positive. And um, so we have um, L derivatives and then the L derivative is alpha Hilbert continuous and K uh, for the metric and K is uh, of course uh, one derivative less. Um, and we consider E here. So we so again, of course, we have this diffeomorphism at infinity. So we can push forward the metric, push it down to R and minus the closed ball. And the uh, definition then is that the difference of that minus the hyperbolic metric is, is um, in this uh, space. And similarly, this difference here. And again, recall that for the so the, the hyperboloidal model, we, we, uh, we think of a, um, uh, something which is asymptotically uh, umbilic, meaning that g minus k goes to, to, to zero at infinity. And moreover, in the constraint equation, the right hand side, they, this, um, this function and this, uh, one form has to be in the following spaces where this uh, sum in indices here guarantee integrability. And just for recollection, we do this, but we can, there is um, more equivalent, um, another equivalent version, but let me simply state that, for example, we can do, uh, we can do the following uh, norm for the waiter Hulu space. Um, and an example, uh, of course, is now so just like uh, um, just like uh, the uh, Schwarzschild, uh, and you simply take a time slice here. The uh, the uh, the uh, there is uh, and and uh, that time slice uh, so develops, of course, back up into to the uh, Schwarzschild space time. But here we can do the so-called anti de Sitter Schwarzschild, which is. Um, so you see, this is uh, this is uh, close to when when this uh, close to the hyperbolic metric, far out in the infinity, and this is initial data for the uh, Schwarzschild space time. Uh, the standard reference for this would be Brendel and Wang, uh, and it can be realized as umbilic. So uh, and it will fall into the class of uh, of initial data as above. Um, so, but what is mass then in the hyperbolic setting? Well, so uh, let us start by considering a special uh, space of functions, namely the script n, which is the functions that satisfy um, this equation. Functions on hyperbolic space that satisfy this equation. And it turns out that these, um, that that space is finite dimensional with these basis vectors. So we denote them V0, V1, and V uh, up to Vn. So it's n plus one dimensional and x hat here is simply the i coordinate x at high, uh, x hat i 
is uh, the ith coordinate of Rn restricted to the unit sphere. Uh, now, for a fixed chart at infinity, one defines the mass functional as um, as a functional from script n into the reals. Uh, and similarly to the ADM case, this is a limit, uh, an integral, boundary integral at infinity. So uh, here we simply take a fixed function B, where B is in script N, and we uh, calculate this following uh, one form. So this is a slightly um, more terms than in the, the, the one form that we had in the ADM cases. Um, and so, um, and this is, uh, this is clearly linear. So um, one defines then the uh, mass vector in the following way, namely that we say that the, um, the first component is so, so we map in V0 and V1 up to Vn. Uh, some authors prefer to refer to this as uh, energy and linear momentum, just like in the previous case, but, um, um, uh, and the, the Minkowski and length is uh, still nothing but this uh, square root expression like before. Uh, this is a coordinate invariant in the hyperbolic setting. And we have, a, um, uh, we have an equivariance condition so that you can, so that we have the chart at infinity. And then on the one hand, I can compose with a, a, an isometry of the hyperbolic space. But on the other hand, I can let that isometry act on the mass vector and it's the same thing. So, um, so uh, this is an invariance that um, that um, uh, and in particular, uh, one can choose this isometry to be so that the uh, linear momentum uh, part here uh, vanishes, meaning that we have only the the first component of the uh, of the mass vector here being non-zero. And in that case, one says that the coordinates are balanced. Uh, the expression that we had uh, before um, here. With this uh, here, of course, uh, eta comes in, which is this uh, difference of the uh, metric in the second fundamental form. Uh, so, so that would be strictly a space-time version. Uh, previously, uh, um, the, the, um, so the first time uh, that this was done in, for the hyperboloidal initial data like this was by Xia Dong Wang in uh, in uh, in uh, tw 2001, and then by Kruschel and Herzlich in 2003. And then uh, Crucial, Yersierski, and Leschke in 2004 did this for the space time uh, uh, case. Uh, Wang and Crucial Herzlich, of course, also proved um, um, that the mass vector, uh, pro proved the, the positive mass theorem that the, uh, this mass vector is uh, future pointing causal uh, using spinner uh, methods. Uh, of course, uh, it's an easy exercise uh, to show that the uh, for the anti the Sitter Schwarzschild uh, that we defined above the mass vector um, is on that form that the the first component is nothing but m the mass parameter and the other ones vanishing uh, and so um, positive mass then in the hyperbolic setting and uh, in the hyperbolic setting one. Uh, it's a bit more interested in the positive uh, mass, really, because of this equivalent variance condition. And the dominant energy condition here um, says that the, um, so again, to separate between positive energy and positive mass, then that the uh, dominant energy condition um, implies non negative energy and implies uh, energy is bounded below by, by the uh, linear momentum. And uh, of course, um, uh, the, the scalar curvature in the hyperbolic of the hyperbolic space is minus n times n minus one in n dimensional hyperbolic space. So the dominant energy condition here, uh, and this is perhaps less straightforward to see, but uh, but the the uh, um, uh, the uh, dominant energy condition in the Riemannian setting implies uh, so where uh, where k equal g then. So if you plug that into the the constraint equations, uh, one gets that the uh, the uh, dominant energy condition is nothing but the scalar curvature being bounded below by, by n minus n times n minus one. Um, and in the Riemannian setting, the, the associated the rigidity statement is nothing but the, the statement that the uh, initial data is, is isometric to hyperbolic space. 
And like I mentioned, um, <clears throat> this has been proven by Wang and Crucial and Hetzlich in spin setting, but there, is, uh, there are other results where the uh, um, authors could uh, assume uh, uh, different, uh, uh, differently on the initial data under some Kai Galloway in a way. Um, and uh, relaxation even further by the uh, by results by Crucial Galloway and Guyan and Payets, Crucial Delay and Juan Gang Martin in, um, in uh, very recent years. Uh, the space time setting, of course, now this is. Um, the, the mass is uh, again the mass being uh, positive means that we have uh, the mass vector is uh, future point in Kassel and vanishes uh, the, the energy, the mass vanishes precisely when we are embeddable uh, isometrically into, um, into uh, um, um, again Minkowski space. And this was proven by Crucial, Yasir and Leshti, Crucial and Martin. And so on with uh, crucial Martin Tot, Martin Wang Chu, and so on here um, under various uh, assumptions. Now, uh, so um, okay, good. That is the end of that section. 